Hi, good evening dear students. The much awaiting Gen Technologies interviews are scheduled tomorrow for all of you. So what I thought of making some basic questions in C for Gen Technologies. So what type of questions uh, they may ask? I have prepared some questions for the sake of you. So first of all, Gen Technologies basic interview questions about gen technologies when it started what do you know about gen technologies the first question gen technologies started in the year 1993 it develops and manufactures training solutions for training for defense and security forces worldwide that is the work with they do their offices are in india and usa so this is the only basics i'm giving dear students you prepare on your own by seeing Google about Gen Technologies. Now general questions, why should we hire you? What qualities are you hiring so that we should take you? Sir, I'm flexible and adaptive to learning. I know some programming languages. Okay, I'm, uh, this is my opportunity, which I don't want to miss. I have a good opinion about Gen Technologies. Like that, you can answer and add some points to that. Why do you want to join Gen Technologies? Sir, I feel my skills are well suited for the position and my skills would contribute to the company's growth. Dear students, please remember, keep an updated resume and whatever you mention in the resume, suppose your weaknesses or strengths or about your projects, you learn beforehand because there will be questions on your projects there will be questions on your academics. There will be questions about your strengths and weaknesses. So don't forget to prepare your resume beforehand because that is very, very important. Tell about your project. So each student will bring some project. Let it be mini a project or major project or uh, try to create a project and tell about the project dear students. Don't forget that question is very important. And uh, one more thing is self-introduction. Tell about yourself. You should not tell about your family background because no company is interested about your family at present. All are interested only about yourself. So be precise. Tell what skills you have. What do you know about Zen? What you can do in the company? How you are an asset to the company? Tell you about your academics. Never tell about your family or something else. Personals because they're not interested in that. They're just interested about yourself, what you are. The first impression is the best impression, dear students. So I'm going for the next question. So technical questions. How many programming languages do you know? So that you have to answer, dear students. Sir, I know basics of C, CPP, or Java, or Python, etc. Which technical websites do you follow? So dear students, please, uh, beforehand today, two or three websites to just which are technical, okay? websites and try to answer tomorrow if you they ask the question how do you find size of an array i have given some answers some you have to answer when the number of elements is unknown okay so answer is without predefined function or you just find the answer for this question how do you find size of an array when the number of elements is unknown without predefined function what is the range of values that can be stored by integer data type in C. What is the range of values that can be stored in integer data type in C language? That is minus 2 power 31 to 2 power 31 minus 1. This is given there. What is the output of the following code? You can see the code clearly and this that is integer a equal to 3, b equal to 5 and a equal to b, b equal to t. Okay, print f return 0 answer is 53 dear students answer is 53 okay let's go for the 10th one how are strings represented in memory in c answer is an array of characteristics how are strings represented in memory in c an array of characteristics what are the disadvantages of array in c the amount of memory to be allocated should be known beforehand. That is a disadvantage. The amount of memory to be allocated should be known beforehand. 
what is the size of integer data type in bytes in C answer is 4 how to declare double pointer in C for example int double star well you can see there write program output hello world so I have given there how to write the output of the program if a function returns no value what is it called it is called as void function if a function returns no value it is called as void function next what is union and structure in C you try to find answer for this question dear students what is meant by database system find the answer for this question what are defined as web components please find the answer in Google for this question what are operators basic symbols which help us to do work on logical and mathematical operations in C and C++ what is the difference in C and C++ you please find out one basic difference or two basic differences dear students what are class and objects in C++ class means a class has user defined data types that has data members and member functions what is an object an object is an instance of a class okay dear students what is the difference between structure and class a structure members of the structure are public by default members of the class are private by default what is polymorphism in C++ it's a simple means of having many forms polymorphism many forms it behaves different in different situations tell about virtual function virtual function is a member function in the base class that you redefine in a derived class a virtual function is declared using virtual keyboard what is inheritance inheritance is a process of creating new class called derived class from existing class what is the value of x in the following program one program is given what is the output that is a question it is nothing but please uh, say this technical students is compile time error right programming language or which programming language is called mother of programming languages it's a general question they may not ask tomorrow dear students is java the function scanf is used to dash it's nothing but input a set of values these are some of the basic questions i prepared dear students it may be helpful at least some 5 to 10 or 20 percent for you because self-introduction is very important be specific don't talk about your families this and that tell about yourself what qualities you have how you are useful okay my name is so and so okay i'm studying in btech final year in csc stream or ec stream okay i know this programming languages or so know the basics of c or cpp or python something okay sir i'm well adapted to i can do what as a teamwork i can do all these works or uh, and I can write small programs or something like that. You just prepare yourself, dear students, for self introduction. Tell uh, what are sir, my strengths or these, my weakness or these. Okay. And uh, that's all. Don't tell I have one brother, I have one sister, I'm coming from Amlapuram, I'm coming from some other village. It's not necessary. If you want, you can mention my father is a farmer. My father is a former or a businessman you can mention okay be specific to the point dear students and don't just bluff or give wrong answers okay thank you hope this video may be useful for you all the best for your interviews tomorrow thank you dear students